Welcome to a short video about the FFT analyzer and its great functionality. First, we configure the connected sensors. One accelerometer and one tachometer measure the vibrations on a rotating machinery. Amplifier settings, scaling and a quick preview of the signal. Everything at once, on one screen. Even the velocity can be calculated directly in the channel setup, with the according filter settings. You can directly enter the wanted bandwidth. The sampling rate is automatically set. When starting the measurement, add metadata to the file in a freely configurable input mask. I already prepared my instrument's screen. Acceleration RMS and crest factor, velocity RMS, crest factor and peak peak value. Acceleration live signal in recorder and FFT and the same for velocity. Yet the measurement is running, I can change parameters, for example set a higher FFT resolution. On the bottom you see the RPM signal. It's very easy to design your screen, add instruments and assign channels. After the machine runs down, we stop storing the data. Reloading the data file is just a matter of seconds. Immediately we can see the result. Let's output the velocity signal through the loudspeakers to get an acoustic impression. As we always store the raw data in time domain, we can also offline add the FFT analyzer. Select the channel to be analyzed. Here for example, we want to get the overall vibration level. The line resolution can also be directly entered in Hertz. Review, recalculate and look for the signal. We are only interested in the section where the speed is constant. For now, we want to analyze the lower frequency range. The great FFT marker functionality provides almost any possible marker. Let's start with the MAX marker. It will find the highest amplitudes in the spectrum, which then can be also sorted by amplitude in the marker table. The harmonic marker is a great help when identifying the fundamental of a frequency. Just pick it and drag it through the spectrum. The harmonics will automatically follow. For the sideband marker, select the number of bands and delta frequency. It will monitor the modulated frequencies to the left and right of a selected center line. The RMS marker will sum up all FFT lines in a selected band. Again, you can move the limits to customize the section you're interested in. Select the damping marker if you're interested in the quality factor, damping factor or attenuation rate of a peak. And of course, you can always add a free marker, for example if you are interested in a specific frequency you want to observe. Have seen all the markers? There is one more. In monitoring bearing faults, it is common to analyze the envelope band. This is usually done at a constant RPM. Select the type of bearing of the machinery. If it's not listed, you are able to add your own to the XML database. The frequencies of interest are automatically calculated based on geometry. Now use the FFT analyzer on the envelope function. 
we can add the bearing cursor to our spectrum. One can now easily identify the bearing frequencies and monitor the amplitude. The table below shows which mechanical part the frequencies belong to. We can also analyze multiple files. We have done two measurements at different speeds. To compare, open one file and import the other one. You can select the channels to be imported. Now we have the two raw signals in one file. Put them into an FFT analyzer and recalculate. Here both FFTs are overlaid in one instrument. Let's add some markers. If your analysis does not stop here, you can export to a lot of file formats. Let's export to the probably most common, Excel. But there are many more features included. Of course the FFT analyzer also works live during measurement, with all the marker functionality. Do the waterfall analysis and see FFTs versus time. Add powerful mathematics, providing lots of functions of practical use. In the formula editor, you can do complex calculations and directly access the FFT array data. The order tracking module shows FFT over RPM, offers the order extraction, Nyquist plot and extracted orders over RPM. For transient signals there is the short time FFT, which uses a smaller block size and is therefore much faster. Here you can see an impact signal and its spectrum. Another application for short time FFT is a quickly changing signal. While the standard FFT gets problem with too big block size, the STFT correctly follows. The FFT analyzer is also able to average a number of triggered FFT windows, for example with 5 millisecond pre and 10 millisecond post trigger time. Of course, many more applications can be realized when you apply the FFT analyzer on your data. Thank you very much.